Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Oh my god, I just realized I forgot my Celsius. Quick pause. Anyways, welcome back to my channel, you guys. Today we are playing Legacy, and I'm very excited, as usual, to get into this because this is my favorite Let's Play, and I'm just so excited to see these beans age up. I think they're going to be... Are they going to be aging up in this episode? Yeah, they are. I'm so stoked to see them as little children. It's going to be very exciting. Uh, I hope that you guys are doing well. I think the last time I talked to y'all, I was pretty sick and it's still lingering. I swear I've been sick for like three weeks. It's just not going away, but I feel okay. It's just like that like annoying nasally and like annoying like congestion-y like chest cough. But yeah, I uh... I took like a little break from wearing wigs for a little while and then like I wore one for my not so very video and I was like I miss this so much so I think I'm gonna go back to like switching up my hair every video it's so fun and I know a lot of you guys like that about my channel but yeah I do have a Celsius today obviously <laughs> it is a uh, mango passion fruit it's their newest flavor it used to be a 7-eleven exclusive but um, I was able to find a 12 pack at Vitamin Shop and I've heard that um, a lot of you guys on my Twitch channel found it on uh, Amazon as well. It's really, really good. I think my ranking goes number one, sparkling watermelon, number two, strawberry guava, number three, kiwi guava, number four, mango passion fruit, number five, kiwi, no, number five, peach vibe, number six, Fuji apple pear. Yeah, I think I'll stop at six. <laughs> but anyways, let's crack this open and get into today's video, y'all. Oh, these ones crack so nicely. I don't know why they're just like goaded. So yeah, cheers to you. Cheers to this video. I'm so excited to hang out with you today. Let's get into it. Yeah, I feel like that intro was like all over the place. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry. Okay, guys, here we are back in the legacy household. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. I still need to... Uh, finish this lot like this area out here is so blank <laughs> I just haven't done it yet let me switch back to the sims 4 camera let me um take down the decorations style influencer level 5 nah we got the entertainment career for Ren in the last episode and then Zoe switched her career to writer Lamar switched his career to tech guru are they gonna be getting um promotions today he's at work until 7 he might get it we'll see what about Zoe uh, yeah, she's not gonna get it today, but that's okay. I feel like they just got promoted very recently. <laughs> What's Ren off to do? Oh, take care of the babies, right? We have babies now. And why are they sad? What's the matter? Oh, is it because everyone left? Yeah, it's because everyone left. Okay, well, why don't you, um, let's just give them a... No! No! She only has one star. Why does she already have a quirk? Man, that's annoying. That is so annoying. That is so annoying. Oh, yes. Auntie Ren, give all the huggies. So cute. Take care of them. There's apples on the floor so that they can have snacks if they need them. <laughs> so excited for them to age up, though, guys. Uh, let me look at the calendar really quick. So tomorrow is love day. Like I said, I wanted to do like a little double date with Zoe, Lamar, Caleb, and Ren. And then, uh, let's see what else. <clears throat> day after that is founder day talent showcase okay and then the day after that we have the starlight accolades which i would like to go to to see if zoe won an award for her writing i think it would be really cute if we uh maybe went like sledding with the kids or something i don't know i want to do something with the toddlers before they age up um and this is also their birthday the day of the starlight accolades so maybe we can have like a um like a midday barbecue and then hit the accolades at night I think that would be cute. Um, so when should we go snowboarding or sledding then? Maybe we can go this day. Saturday. Okay, I'll try to remember that. I'll try to remember. Okay, so let's have a look at the baby skills and see what we need to work on. Movement, potty, and thinking. And, oh my god, they almost have the same skills. Uh, Evangeline is just a little bit more advanced. I'm gonna get a stereo in here so that they can bob to music because I find that that's a really quick way for them to um, to level up their movement. So let's see. Oh wow, that was a big drop of Celsius just right on my computer mat. Love that for me. I'm gonna stick a stereo right here on the floor. It's kind of cute. Does it come in a matching color? Oh my God, that is the cutest thing I've ever seen. That's such a nice color palette. Let's go. Okay, so, Ren, can you please put on, let's put on kids. 
for them. All right, babies, let's bob. Bob until you can't bob no more. Okay, and while they're working on that, Ren! What, what, what skill were we doing for you? Oh yeah, media production, that's right. Oh, she's dancing with them! Oh my gosh, my heart, my soul, that is so cute. Aww. I'm obsessed. Ooh, Zoe's latest novel is burning up the Samai Shuno Times bestseller list. Oh gosh, I wonder if Luna is like jealous or pissed or, or, oh God, they're like competing now. Sheesh. The royalties from book sales have provided a steady income, but a phone call she just received could easily be her most lucrative opportunity yet. A producer from Plub Bob Pictures reached out to express interest in adapting her novel into a film. Hey, yo! Unfortunately, they insisted that she couldn't retain creative control over the final screenplay. Is it worth sacrificing her artistic freedom? I feel like she would sell the movie rights because she's not really like, she's not focused on the creative aspect of being a writer, more of like the educational informative aspect of being a writer. She just happened to like practice her writing by writing whatever book this was and uh, it just happened to be a good one. So let's go ahead and sell the movie rights. Um, I think that's like a big flex for her too. She can put that on her resume. A thousand dollars. A trilogy is born. Zoe sends over the rights to her hit novel for big screen adaptation. The studio's producer immediately calls a celebratory press conference, proclaiming that he's just landed their next tentpole franchise with members. I just heard like woohoo music. Oh my gosh. Yes. Who's calling? What is it? Bar Barrett? Oh no. Rip Barrett. So sorry, sir. So sorry, sir. Hi, Sir Isaac, cutie. Ren, what do you have to do? Troll the forums? Nope. If you're gonna be doing something, I need you to practice your media production skill, you know? Let's produce a new track. Oh, she's happy from dancing. I'm so happy that you're happy. What about you, Eddie? Do you not like dancing? You have no moolets whatsoever. You really wanna say nonsense to Manami, though. Manami was our, uh, our nanny i'm glad that you guys got along when she was here so cute oh there's manami she's why are you here and why are you sp spraying for buggies interesting our poor garden i don't know what the heck is going on ren get over here with your max gardening skill and please tend please tend it needs it good i mean welcome home Ophelia wants to come over? Yeah, of course. Hi, Lamar. Welcome back. How was work? You didn't get that promotion today, but that's fine. Oh, we can work on his aspiration a little. He wants to introduce himself to 10 Sims. So let's just introduce, uh, <laughs> let's just introduce him to Sims that walk by so that we can get that, that section done. Have you introduced yourself to Ophelia yet? No, you haven't. Okay, let's go. Okay, you're just gonna ignore me. That's fine. Oh. Hey, it's nice to meet you. Yes. Let's just ask her about her day. Oh no, he's very sad from that death. Did you even know this person? Wait, hold on. Who's this? Who are you? What's your name? Weston Langford? Are you like, why are they walking around with books and stuff? Oh, Zoe got a. Oh crap, she got the workaholic lifestyle. I don't understand. Why do my Sims always get this? They go to work, they work hard, and then they get the workaholic, like, come on. Not every Sim that worked hard is a workaholic, okay? This guy's pretty cute. Maybe he could be your bestie, Lamar. I don't know, what do you think? He looks yeah, very professional and studious and Lamar. active. Uh, dag, dag. dag, dag, what's wrong, Dumbo sir? <laughs> oh no, not the clay. He looks like Keanu Reeves, not gonna lie. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. <laughs> uh, he has the caregiver personality archetype, that's cute. Bookworm too, he was carrying a book. Okay, five out of 10 Sims, not bad, not bad. Oh, who's this? Hank Hil Hinton. Seven out of 10 Sims that he's introduced himself to, it's not bad. All right, Lamar, time to do some work. Why don't you come over here and just practice your programming? 
So exciting, I know. Let's start a side job, why not, why not? Zoe, what are you up to? Oh, you're just spending time with your babies? I love that for you, honestly. Uh, I think that playing with them will also increase their movement, and it'll also increase their relationship which is something that I would definitely want. I'm gonna get her the, uh, the quirk clearing thing, quirk be gone, cause this is so annoying. I really, really, really don't like it. Is it a pot, a drink that she has to drink? Yeah, quirk be gone, okay. Drink it please, emotion bomb, get that out of here. Perfect, gorgeous, love to see it. Yay, Edison, movement level four, let us go. Okay, I'm gonna need you to play with uh, Evangeline as well. Ew, she just farted. <laughs> Ew, Zoe's back is too sore to play. What? Whatever. Poor Zoe. Let me just give you a little huggy. You can go dance. And Zoe, what do you need to do for work? Write books? <laughs> yeah, it better be complete. <laughs> oh, what are you gonna do here? Cook? No, 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 no. Um, I need you to become inspired. Ooh. Let's eat one of these muse berries and see if that works. Cause she needs to write for one hour inspired. Oh, there she goes, she's very inspired. Okay, come over here to Ren's computer and let's write a book. Let's write, resume writing or let's see, write genre book? No. Okay, let's just resume writing this. Oh, that teleporting is so handy. Oh, look at Sav, so cute. <laughs> Yeah, let's go. Okay, what's next? Write five good books. Can do. Okay, I think you've done enough programming for work. What's wrong? You gotta pee and you're hungry. All right, let's take care of that. What's Zoe's writing skill at again? Oh my god, she's almost maxed it. Let's go. Is Ren still tending? Like, oh my god, she is. Wow. And the bugs are still there. Oh god, what are we gonna do? Happy love day. Does Ren have any death flowers in her inventory? I think that would be a cute gift for Caleb on Valentine's Day. Oh, she does. And they're worth so much money. Oh, we have 70, what? Let's, oh my God. We have 70 orchids in our inventory and it's worth $43,000. Yes, sell it. Are you kidding me? Nine birds of paradise for $1,200. Dang. I wonder how much all these death flowers would be. Eight grand. Sheesh. Oh, the babes are hungry. Okay, okay, I got you, I got you. Let me get you some food here. Lamar! You, you were cooking something, what happened? Okay, Zoe, I'm sorry. I need you to take a break from writing. Actually, crap, she's almost done. I need you to grand delicioso some, some food for them. Just right there on the floor is fine. Yeah! She, gets, she did grilled cheese. Heck yes. I love that so much. So funny, okay. All right, time to resume your book or write another one actually, cause you finished that one. We just grinding right now. Um, and then later on today, we're gonna go on that date. And then the next day we're gonna go sledding, take some cute pics. And then the day after that is their birthday and the Starlight Accolades, which I'm really excited for. So Lamar gets off work at seven. So that's when we'll go out. Oh, he's having a potion of plentiful needs and a grilled cheese. Dang, it's bumping in there. Oh, good. Most of the bugs... No, they're not. What are you doing? No. I need you to spray for bugs. Unless it's just a... Because it doesn't say spray for bugs. I wonder if it's just a glitch. Oh, we got a call from Bellamy. Have you ever heard of something called the motive trials? Apparently, they take a bunch of sims and put them in some remote place and let them battle it out like royally? Do you think you'd want to be a part of something like that? What? Is she gonna die if I say count me in? That's really risky. Only if it lasts less. Guys, I'm a little scared, so I'm gonna say only if it, it, it uh, last, it only, wow. Okay, yeah, she probably would have died. I wonder what that's about. Let me know if you guys have ever gotten that pop-up and like participated in it. Cause that's freaking weird. Oh no, not Jocelyn. You guys remember Jocelyn, right? 
She was one of our childhood friends. Let me see if I can find her in here. Oh, that's so sad. What? Oh my god, everyone is dying. That was like our fourth death call today. Jossa, she's right here. Sad day. Very sad day. Yes, Lamar, let's go. Promoted to Ace Engineer. Uh, love that for you, sir. It's already seven. Holy cannoli, when does Zoe get home? Nine? Oh my gosh, she's gonna get promoted today too, so we can't. Uh, more money and prestige, but more work and responsibility. Should I try to get a promotion? Yeah, absolutely. Okay, so I guess date night's not until nine. Wait, what does Ren get back? Ten? Ay, caramba. All right, well, I guess we're not going out till like super late, which is kind of unfortunate. Let's uh, let's get Zoe something though for for Valentine's Day for Love Day. I mean, but what should we get her? Let's get her a rose, I guess. Oh, let's also make her some her her favorite meal, of course. Even though we're gonna go out to eat. <laughs> oh, let's go. Promoted to novelist. Beautiful, 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 beautiful. Uh, what level are you now? Seven! Not bad, not bad. Okay. Alright, so let me uh, drag these grilled cheeses in here for the babies. What's Evangeline doing? Where is she? Oh, she's on the toilet. Okay. Let's grab a serving of that. And you, sir, you need a bath very badly. Oh my gosh! Three promotions in one day? You love to see it! I also love to see it. <laughs> Uh, comedian or musician? I was reading the comments and a lot of you guys said that you think that she would be a musician. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. How exciting! Jingle Jammer! Woo, woo. Okay, so they are all back. So let's go ahead and travel. I'm gonna get Ren to do the traveling because she knows all three of them. A very late love day dinner, but you know what? You gotta do what you gotta do when everyone has a job. <laughs> I don't even know if Caleb has a job actually. So I know in my new schedule, I said I was gonna try to upload every Wednesday and every Sunday, but it's proving to be kind of hard to upload on Sundays. I've been pretty good about like doing my, uh, Wednesday, Thursday time frame. Um, so hopefully uh, things start to calm down at school. It's like midterms right now. I have two tests. I usually don't have like an actual like midterm test because I'm an art student. And we just have projects, but for some reason, my freaking professors were like, oh no, you're gonna have a test this semester. So hopefully once that's once that's over, I can uh, get back to uploading twice a week because I do miss I do miss it. Okay, everyone is in their nice outfit for Love Day. So cute. Let's request this four four one over here. Request table. I love that there's a random violin right there. Maybe Ren can play us some music later. Oh look, he's so fancy. Thank you, Wendell. Thank you so much. All right, so it's Valentine's Day. So Ren and I are gonna get Cosmos. <laughs> the boys, um, let's see. The boys. The boys can have Dim and Gusties, I suppose. Okay. And then as far as food goes, um, Lobster Toilerini sounds good. Ren can have um, herb crusted salmon. Caleb can have trout. I'm not even gonna attempt to say that. And Lamar can have, actually no, salmon. Where'd Caleb go? Hey Ren, play us some romantic music, yeah? Here we go, she's gonna perform for us. Oh, I'm so excited. Hey, sit down. Wait, Ren doesn't have violin skill? <gasps> I thought she maxed it. Oh, heck no. We're gonna have to max that ASAP as soon as we get home. Jeez. <laughs> this is really cute, guys. I love this, like, this, uh, I don't know. This, like, foursome, it's really adorable. Think of fish. Uh, kudos. Kudos? Oh, Lamar, let's give Zoe this rose before love day, like, ends. It's so late. <laughs> give her the rose. Give her the rose. Oh! Oh my god, so cute, so cute. 
Oh, she liked it. Okay, she likes roses apparently. I love that. What do you what can you give Lamar? Do you have anything fun in your inventory? We we were not prepared for you. Oh, what are they gonna do? Ooh, we have a bunch of cool stuff. Let's give them a let's give them a seashell. This red one is pretty. What are they gonna do? Oh, she's giving him the rose back. Oh. Oh no, she still has it in her inventory. That's strange. Dang it, everyone had a terrible love day because I was too late. <laughs> oh well, I thought that counts. Where's our food? Where's our drinks? Why is it taking so long? There, jeez. Oh my god. Wow, that looks amazing. Oh, she's gonna, gonna have a plasma pack? All right. Everyone's just staring at her. <laughs> oh, Ren. Oh, that looks so good, guys. Such a fancy dinner, oh my word. All right, everyone eat. Eat your food. Cute. Ren, stop getting up! Oh my god, do you really have to go to the bathroom? Or are you just like, you don't. Do, you don't even go to the bathroom. Throw up? I guess, I thought she liked human food, I guess not. Anyways, are you gonna eat that? Caleb, are you just gonna look at it? Eat your tortellini. Pack this into the sack lunch, because apparently Ren's not gonna eat it. Also, pack this new sack lunch too, because Caleb's not gonna eat it either. These freaking vampires, I swear. All right, well, that was fun. Ren didn't even, oh, she, she did, she just downed it. Okay, thank you for coming out with us. We had a great time. I've been noticing though, that, um, that the Sims won't eat. Like the food will come and they'll just like look at it. Did you guys see the new um, emojis that are coming out for iPhone? I'm so excited because there's beans. There's a beans emoji now. I'm so excited. <laughs> They're like little kidney beans. It's like three of them. And there's also an emoji that looks like, like you're like peeking through your hands. It's really cute. And then there's also one that's like smiling with the pleading eyes with like little tears in its eyes. It's so cute. I feel like I'm gonna, hello, how are you today? It's delightful to see you again. Oh wow, you're so polite, Manami. I love this nanny. I love her. Oh, do you guys hear that retro music? No, Lamar. You need a program. We definitely need another computer in the house. Everyone is using it so much lately. Yes, Zoe! Level 10 writing. Why didn't we get a fancy pop-up? She can now write biographies and mentor other Sims in writing. Okay. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute, do you have today off? We're supposed to go sledding today, but it's raining. Uh, I wonder if it's raining in um, in Mount Komarebi. I guess Lamar doesn't have to come with us. Ooh, submit book copy to Literary Digest. Yeah, let's do the one that we, is there a masterpiece? Excellent, excellent, excellent. Oh, this one's a bestseller, let's do that one. Oh, you know what we should also get her? Oh, a three star. Oh my God, she's like flying up there. We should get her the, uh, is it um, the marketable one? The marketable trait? How much is that? 1,500. They, uh, Sims sell items they've crafted for more simoleons or no, that's not it. It's the one where you have a better chance of doing creative visionary, higher chance of painting and writing masterworks. Let's grab that. <gasps> Word of Lamar's programming prowess has started to spread on the dark web. He thought he was covering his tracks, but a group of angel investors from Silly Sim Valley are knocking on his office door with a compelling offer. They caution that while Lamar's business ideas are technically pre-funding, they like to offer financial backing with the expectation that they have first right of refusal on investing in any of his future projects. Will Lamar take the simoleons or would he rather stay independent? Let's accept the investment, why not? Okay, now Lamar is famous too. <laughs> <gasps> oh no! Uh, uh, proclaiming Lamar as a hot new guru that's making waves in Silly Sim Valley, Lamar was surprised to receive a text from his new business partners informing him that they'd pay for the piece to go live the moment they deal closed. After all, they have to signal boost their newest investment. Wow. Okay. We're doing, we're making waves. We're doing the damn thing. All right. So, next up, 
we need to write five excellent books for our aspiration but I do would I would really like to go um, I'd really like to go sledding so let's go to Mount Kamarebi and see if it's like storming or whatever there I can't wait to see the little babes in their cold weather outfits it's gonna be so cute hello oh such cuties okay Ren why are you wearing this still I don't understand everyone else got the memo that we were going to the snow except for you all right you guys ready to go sledding oh come on Zoe at least pick her up thank you oh I'm so excited for this it's gonna be so cute here we go I'm gonna try and get a nice screenshot Oh, so cute. <laughs> oh my God, that was amazing. Did you enjoy that? Oh, yibs. All right, Ren. Well, what are you gonna do? Are you gonna go sledding or what? Take him, it's his turn. Okay, let me try again. All right, here comes Ren and Edison. Aw. They didn't fall. I'm shook. Oh, he didn't like it. Oh, yeah, he did. Just kidding. Oh, oh, why are you guys going over there? Too cute. Oh, my God. Oh, God, that's so cute. Oh, too cute. You guys know I do it for the screenshots. I do it for the screenshots. There's some really cute sims here right now. I love it. But it looks like the babies are just sad and cold and tired. So let's everyone go home. I know it was a short day, but it's already 6.30. Time flies in this game. Because everything takes so long to get done. They are back. Let's, uh, <laughs> no, no dancing. I need you to go to bed. I need you to go to bed. I need you to rest up so that we can max more skills. All right, so next order of business is the Starlight Accolades and the baby's birthdays tomorrow. So, Ren, could you please cook a cake for them so that we can have one? Ooh, a honey cake sounds so good. Let's do that. Oh, Reagan's calling us. Did you hear I got the promotion we talked about? Congratulations, babes. So happy for you. Oh, a Sergeant Minor in Strangerville. Let's go. Oh yeah, it's Remembrance Day, so we need to come over here and mourn. Mourn all the heirs. Wait. Seriously, Zoe? Emotion bomb again. Ugh! That is unacceptable. She's really sad, so she can write a sad book right now. Mama doesn't love you anymore? Oh, that's... That is very sad. Holy canole. Holy canole. I'm so excited for the Starlight Accolades, y'all. In the meantime, I'm gonna put some balloons around for the baby's birthday. How cool would it be if you could hire a clown? Oh, it's so cute in here. <gasps> I love. Okay, let me grab some of these paper plates. Matching paper plates. And then... I always forget you can get a present pile for uh, birthdays too. All right, birthday party is planned. We are ready. We just need to cook some food for it. So maybe Ren can do that. What she? Gonna... No, don't like that. Mm -mm. I wish there was like a grand meal. Oh, you know what we can do? We can buy that. Uh, we can buy that food table. That would be kind of nice. I'm gonna put the dining table in our inventory for now. All right, we're ready. And this is the most I've ever done for a party. <laughs> oh, Ren, 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 Ren. You definitely need a uh, quirk be gone as well. That emotion bomb, it's like running rampant in this, in this house. It's annoying. Also, I'm gonna spend Zoe's uh, magic points. Ah, we are almost done. Look at that. We've, we're done with this size, so we just need to grab these three eventually. Wow, Zoe, I swear, she is absolutely insane. Oh, she's going to have a grilled cheese. Yes, you do that. Oh, no, not Chadwick. Do y'all remember when Zoe met Chadwick at the beach? Rest in peace, sir. Rest in peace. Oh, and it's the first day of summer. 
How cute. First day of summer vibes. I'm actually really excited for summer this year. I usually definitely prefer winter, but I think it's probably because I, uh, I graduate. <sighs> it's just gonna be a fun time, you know? Okay, babes, yes, work on that movement a little bit before you age up, just try to max it, we're almost there. I hope today's party goes well. I really, really hope. I invited a lot of people, so <laughs> my game is probably, oh my God, look at the balloons moving. That's so cute. I didn't know that they did that. That's adorable. Another book, another book. Good job, Zoe. Okay, I put them in their little party fits. Um, I'm gonna unlock the door for them. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's get it popping. Let's get it going. Yeah, who are you? Isaac Fleming, what are you doing here? Yep, let's start. Oh shoot, we need to take a day off. Oh, I wonder if we could put the cake on here. Oh, how cute is that? I wonder if they're able to uh, blow out the candles with it right there. Yeah, my uh, game is lagging hard right now, guys. Looks like everyone's showing up. We got Ophelia, we got Kira, we got Bruce, we got Marnie, we got the nanny. <laughs> Zoe invited a couple of her friends too, like Elizabeth and Millie. Who else do we got? Mm, Lilith and Ren. We got one of Luna's kids over here. Which one is this one? Is this Leland? Wilston! Oh my god, he's a cute little ginger bean. Cute. Oh my god, my game. It's so bugged! It is so painfully bugged. Oh man, I shouldn't have invited all these people. I'm gonna have to... I'm gonna have to age them up, like, soon. Let me see if they're able to open a present, though. What's that? No. Dang it, they can't! What a bummer. Hi, Bailey. Look at these cuties. Oh, Felix is an elder now. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, no, Patchy, what happened? Oh, Rothia, you look so cute. Aw. Hi, y'all. I'm glad that you're enjoying the food. Who's that? Oh, Colby, that's right. Colby, Bellamy, Rothio. Oh, uh, Bellamy's an icon. Luna's just out here tending to the garden with her, her son. How cute are they? Wow, it's so nice out here. Aww. My heart. Oh, there's Melissa. Yeah, they all aged up. So they look weird. Alrighty. Well, let's go ahead and get them to blow out the candles because it's almost seven and we, oh my God, there's so many people in here. All right. We gonna do Evangeline first cause she was born first. All right. Hopefully this goes smoothly. I have a feeling it's not going to cause there's so many freaking Sims right now, but we're gonna try. No, put her down. I'm trying to age her up. Oh, did I tell Lamar to do it? Move! Oh my god, you dumb biatch. Oh my god, this is chaos. Evangeline, are you gonna age up? Or what's up? Oh, she went outside to age up. Oh, okay. Okay, okay. Oh crap. I forgot Lamar's traits. He's family oriented, a geek, and what was that last one? Okay, I'm gonna have to do something random for now and just change it later because I, I, I totally forgot. I totally forgot Lamar's traits. Oh, ambitious, right. Okay, yeah, that's pretty good. Okay, here we go. Happy birthday! God, this is so bad. Everyone's just freaking standing. Okay, they both aged up outside. Okay, so let me get this open here. That's weird, it's not working. Oh, using this generator to get a child's trait is currently not working. In the meantime, using all traits at once generator works fine, okay. So we're not gonna get all the traits at once. We're just gonna, 
use this as to get the child trait, I guess. Um, so ambitious, geek, family oriented. Okay, and then clumsy, creative, and geek. Okay, so this is for Evangeline. We have geek. <laughs> And rambunctious scamp aspiration. Okay. 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 So let's go into cast. What a pain in my butt. I need to stop having big parties. Honestly, it's probably because of the update. See, look at that. Just doesn't want to load. It's insane. All right, Evangeline. Let's have a look at you though. Oh my God. She looks so much like Lamar. Look at that mouth shape. Oh, I'm so excited. Okay, so your aspiration is rambunctious scam, and your child trait is Deeper. geek. All right, now let's have a look at your brother. The next heir. Oh my gosh. 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 I are we detecting hamburger head? I don't know. I don't know. Okay, let's do another child. We have creative. And Rambunctious Scamp. Okay, so he's gonna be, he's gonna be creative. Wild. All right. They both have Rambunctious Scamp aspiration, though. Okay. All right. Let's give you your makeover then, shall we? Okay. So he, uh, he did not have heterochromia when he was a toddler. Let me just take all of this off. Add that back. I'm just working on giving him back everything that he had as a toddler. There we go. Okay, let's pick a hair now. Oh, right, he had the curly hair. So cute. Aw, look at that one. That's kind of cute. Uh, was it this one that he had? Yeah, it was. I love that. I also really love this too. <gasps> Shoot, which one? Yeah, let's stick with this one. He kind of has evil brows. I'm trying to find ones that aren't too evil looking. Oh, those are nice. I think these are the ones he had as a toddler. <gasps> He's so cute, guys. He's so, so, so cute. Okay, what do you want to wear? What do we got? Oh, shoot, we're in party wear. Dang it. Take a shot every time I freaking do that. I swear. Okay, I kind of really love this like long sleeve in that color. It looks kind of cool on him. He looks like he would be like everyone would like him. Like he'd be a little popular boy. I actually like the shorts. I think I'm gonna go with those. And then as far as shoes go, aw, that's not bad. Let's see what else we got. Oh my gosh, this is cute. I actually love this. Hold on, let me give him some socks. Yeah, that's a whole vibe. <laughs> He's adorable. Yeah, he looks like he'd be like into snowboarding or skating or something. It matches his aspiration. Yeah, we I wanna give him a beanie for one of his outfits, but I'm just gonna do this outfit for now. Uh, so yeah, this is the child version of the new air guys. Aww, definitely a cutie. Definitely, definitely, definitely. Okay, let's move on to Evangeline now. Oh, she's such a beautiful bean. Um, all right, let's take off all this nonsense. Yeah, she looks a lot like Lamar, like a lot. I'm really liking this poppy skin on them. I think that looks really nice. Wow, she is beautiful. Braces, sure, why not? I think I want to darken up her brows though. Oh my God, wow. This mouth shape, I am like dying over it. It is freaking gorgeous. Okay, uh, now to choose a hair for a little bean here. There's, we have a lot of options, which is nice. Huh, we can definitely change up her hair like often. I think that would be really cute actually. Oh, so beautiful. I think I wanna start with this hair and then we can change it later. I just, I want, I want the fro. I want, I want more of it. <laughs> it's so cute. We also have these braids that we can use later. Oh man, she's gonna be, she's gonna be an absolute icon. I can already tell. So, you are a geek and a rambunctious scamp. That's fun. That's fun. That's fun. Geek trait going strong. Oh my god, we're in party wear still. Oh! 
Love this. Oh my god, she's so cute. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die. Holy cannoli. I'm obsessed with her. Sorry, I'm being dramatic, but like, look at her, guys. She's so adorable. Aww. Ah, something is telling me to put glasses on her. Let me just see. Oh my god. I, I'm dead. I am dead. Okay, I think I like those socks better. <gasps> Guys, look at her. Look at her, look at her, look at her. Let me know if you think that the glasses are too much. But I don't know, maybe she's just like a very extra child, you know? Because some kids are like that. Okay, so that's done. Next order of business is Starlight Accolades. And then that'll be it. Birthday party is still bumping, but uh, I'm gonna have to cancel it. Yep. Goodbye, everybody. Thank you for coming. I hope you had a good time. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap. It's seven, it's seven. We gotta go, we gotta go. Uh, how do I do this again? Hold on, let me check. Studio PBP, all right. Oh guys, I hope she wins. She can, we could put her Starlight Accolade right next to Charlie's. Oh, I'm so excited. Wait, why did we go to the Starlight? Oh, we went for Luna and then Charlie ended up winning one for some reason. That was so random. That better not happen again with like Ren or something. I feel so bad. All right, get ready for tonight's awards ceremony, the Starlight Accolades. Okay. All right, let's get you in a nice outfit. Suitable for an award ceremony. What do we got? Um... Shoot, she doesn't really have any fancy outfits. I guess this one will have to do. With her buff ass legs. Oh, hey girl, Julie Evans. Nice, nice. All right, let's get in here. The host, Danny Rich. Oh, the gold teeth, the red eyebrows and the black hair. You love to see it. I still can't believe we didn't max Ren's violin skill. How could I freaking forget? And be sure one that for all around nice sim. Apparently you can get awards for that? Okay, great. Congratulations, Anvi. Honey, where are your pants, me, me, Maya? Where's Lamar? No, come sit over here, please. He was cleaning a defaced uh, Hollywood star. <laughs> this is such a random fiesta. What are you doing in the mic? Watch, okay. Oh, Wabine, stop talking. You're supposed to be watching. Be respectful. Cherish living in the moment. That's cute, though. For creating such a dramatic experience through a breakthrough performance, Lanulo Caressa won the Starlight Accolade. Congratulations. If only you were dressed properly. I wish people would dress to the nines for this, you know? What is this guy doing? Get out of the way. Okay, what's next? What's next? What's next? What's next? Come on, Zoe! Come on, Zoe! Uh, Minora won the Starlight Accolade. This will be proudly worn on the winner's neck as both show of fame and fashion statement. Okay, cool. Rua won the Starlight Accolade Award and gave one fine thank you speech. What a tearjerker. Okay. Congratulations. You're a teen as well. That concludes tonight's ceremony. Boo! Boo! I am not happy. Why would- Poor Zoe. I feel so bad. She doesn't have any like sad moodlets though, which is good. I thought for sure she would win something though. Man, them critics, them judges don't know what they're talking about. They don't know anything. <laughs> I want Starlight Accolade now, really badly. Maybe we can get one for Ren. All right, guys. Well, I think I'm gonna leave this part right here. Yeah. Excuse me. I had a really fun time filming today. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. I hope that you liked Eddie and Evie's <laughs> makeovers. Please let me know what you think in the comments. I love you guys so much. And if you would like, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.